My name's Ed Cotter and I work for Bioregional Australia. One Planet Living is a program that makes sustainable living easy, affordable and attractive for everyone. Within that, um, we use a set of 10 principles that help address key impact areas that are identified through the use of ecological and carbon footprinting. These key areas identify everything from zero carbon through to culture, equity and health and happiness and they're applied on uh, projects from working with a local government region uh, through to an individual home or the operation of an organisation. So I'd say the attitude and the status in regards to sustainability in Australia is very much mixed. Uh, we have some sectors that are a long way behind the eight ball and others that are actually quite progressive. Um, the commercial sector, um, the industry, specifically in the CBD, are quite progressive and been pushing the boundaries and that's been market driven more than anything else. In terms of minimum regulations and standards, we're a long way behind the eight ball. Um, countries like England and other parts of Europe have been driven by legislation and by government initiatives, pushing up standards and regulations. We're only just starting to see that occur in Australia. So Ralph the client approached me and wanted to see if he could test out the One Planet Living principles on the 5x4 project. I was a little bit hesitant at the time, mainly because of the size of the project. Being a site that's only 5 metres by 4 metres, um, we really haven't done any work like that in the past. But Ralph assured me it would be an opportunity to test it out and see how the principles could be applied on an individual home of this size. I didn't think it would work, um, but he assured me that it's, it's worthwhile pursuing and going ahead with it. Um, and that's why we're here, and it's been a great learning curve. Stuff that I thought wouldn't work um, has turned out to be quite positive. Um, yeah, there's about 250,000 uh, dwellings throughout the UK that have used the One Planet principles to, to influence their design and their construction, as well as how the occupants use them. Locally in Australia, we've got two projects. One that's been um, put forward at the moment is probably about 12 months behind 5x4. It's located in Fremantle. It's an, on another individual home. They heard about the work that was done on 5x4 and thought that this was an opportunity to also test it out themselves. There's also another project locally in Geelong um, and it's on a renovation. It'll be interesting to see the outcomes from that as well. I think the project has been influenced directly from One Plant Living by taking the focus away from the technology and the infrastructure side of things and placing the emphasis back on, on the client. Um, we've worked very closely with Ralph throughout this process um, and helped identify his key impact areas and that in turn has led into I think a better set of outcomes through the design process uh, for the project moving forward. I thought that planning would have been the biggest challenge but um, through, I guess, the collaboration between the range of different partners that have been involved in the project and the open engagement with the council and the residents, we've actually been able to get through planning quite easily. I think the next challenge for the site will definitely be the size and access to the site, um, as well as following up what happens after 5x4 is being completed. Um, providing a bit of a monitoring and reporting and putting together some case studies moving forward. I think that ongoing commitment is going to be a bit of a challenge too, but one that we're looking forward to um, working with Ralph and the rest of the project team to actually communicate the benefits of using One Planet Living on the 5x4 project and what actually is possible in an in, in a urban context. Um, I think it will really set the standard for um, in a urban sustainable living in the future. The issue is as soon as you leave the delivery of a project that you, has used the One Planet principles, you go from a one planet world into a three, four or five planet world. And it's that interaction that actually has a great impact on your footprint and you know, the lifestyle that you lead. I think there's only so much that an individual project or that a developer can actually do and there's so many external factors that need to be addressed and influenced. What this project will do, it will be able to provide a case study and a world's best practice demonstration that we can then hold up and use as a way to advocate and communicate the benefits of leading a, a sustainable lifestyle using One Planet Living. 
we'll be able to work with partners such as the ACF and Environment Victoria, who have actually already put in place their own st strategy and campaign around One Planet Living. And there's a huge set of targets and there's a set of resources that they're going to commit to around that as well. But it gives us an opportunity to start to talk about the external factors and the connections moving forward and use this as a platform to communicate that. Um, we've done that in the past at, at the Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit and we hope to do that again in the future.